Finding genuine friendships can be hard, especially if you compare it to how it is on social media, but today we're breaking down how to stop overthinking this topic and get what you deserve out of friendships, relationships, and more. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela and today we're going to be talking all about finding friendships in your 20s, red flags, green flags to know, and more. So let's dive in. Friendship is something that I personally struggle with and especially now that I'm getting older because with today's culture, it's like how are we supposed to balance work and mental health and health and fitness and social media and personal things. So many of these things that we deal with on a daily basis, how are we supposed to balance Balance that while also managing relationships and friendships and meeting new people how are we supposed to meet these new people where do we go what do we do it is hard and it can be almost intimidating a little bit energy draining and it kind of feels like it's dating in a way and I remember being in middle school and in high school and I always clinged to the same people to the same friend group and when I got to college it was really scary because I didn't have that same base foundation group of people that I've always known over the years that we would move up all these grades with each other it would be freshman year sophomore year etc and we all would move up and up and up and now I'm in college I went to this commuter school it was even harder to find friends even harder to make connections and meet people because like I said it was a commuter school you go to school go to class and then go home right after and that was basically the end of the story but because of this I've learned so much about myself and what I'm looking for in future friendships what I should or shouldn't take when it comes to having friends and unfortunately i've always been someone that overthinks this topic of friendship especially because of social media seeing other girls online doing little fun girly things and you're like i wish i had a really big group like that or all of these little things it starts to make you think about your own life and so in today's video i want to dive into some tips that have helped me meet more people in my 20s but also how i've been getting to know what i want in friendships how to decipher who is worth keeping how to build good connections and more so let's dive in tip one is you need to be comfortable with yourself so i am making this the first tip because it is one of the most important ones that i need to stress because a lot of people want friendships or big girl groups or they want to be in relationships when in reality they aren't even comfortable or confident enough in themselves first you have to be comfortable with yourself and truly know who you are before you can give away your precious time and your precious energy and your love to other people and that's why I feel like this tip really applies to friendships but also relationships and people that you're romantically involved with because if you are truly just still figuring yourself out and you don't know what your priorities are or you're still learning things you have to focus on you and really nurturing that relationship with yourself because at the end of the day when you go to sleep at night when you wake up in the morning you are with you and you always are going to have you and that is something you have to always prioritize and i have a podcast episode on being your own best friend and i really loved recording this episode because everything I said in there, I truly, truly, truly feel so strong about. You cannot always rely on other people for everything. You can't rely on other people to always help you or be there or do things for you. So at the end of the day, you really have to prioritize your own well-being and your own mental health as well as your physical health. It's also even more important to be comfortable with yourself because if you have a tendency to always be jealous or you don't like to celebrate others then it is going to start seeping into your relationships and your friendships and i've had so many past friendships where people were so obsessed with talking about others gossiping with really negative comments trying to just tell people what is best for them it started to make me realize like is this normal is this what people are supposed to be doing and it started to become my normal and as i started to get older I started to get my own priorities in check because I was just a teenager at the time and I was like I do not want to be a part of this this is a major major red flag because these people are just projecting themselves and their own insecurities onto others and they're so obsessed with how other people are living their life that they're afraid to live their own they're afraid to go out and do their own thing that they're hating on others so as soon as I started to realize yeah this is really bad this is not what I want to be and I started to realize I do not want to be around these people things really started to change for me but that just goes to show that if you are not comfortable with yourself, if you are not comfortable with being just who you are and being your own best friend first, it is going to seep into everything else in your life and everything else will just begin to crumble. So really learn to nurture being comfortable with yourself and loving who you are before you can love yourself or love others and give your energy and time to other people. 
Tip two is focus on quality over quantity. It's very fun to obviously have big circles and have lots of people when it comes to gatherings and friendships, but the smaller the circle, the better. I used to have really large friend groups in high school and in middle school. As you get older, as life gets more serious and things start to get more serious, you really start to value privacy and that the less people know, the better. And even a select few is always better than so many people knowing what is going Going on because when you value quality over quantity the more important deeper more meaningful friendships are so much better than those surface level people that you don't really have in your life that often or you can go and have a good time with them but they're not someone you can sit down and actually talk to about things because it is hard when you have really big friend groups to keep up with who knows what what this person knows what they're saying to this person things are getting talked about i know only certain friends i can sit down with and i can hang out with and talk about my personal feelings other friends i can't really talk about real life stuff so having that balance knowing who is who that balance is really really great it's really important and just because you see online that a lot of people have these really big groups they have these really big friendships that they all hang out with they all go on vacation they all do things all together it doesn't mean that you have to compare yourself to that and think that you have to now go out of your way to have this really big friend group in order for it to be meaningful because in reality it's so important to really just nurture those friendships that are not just surface level that you can go to them for things because sometimes you don't want to bottle up all of your emotions you don't want to bottle up all of your feelings you want to be able to sit down with someone and just say hey like what do you think about this or this is how i'm feeling and just having someone to talk to having someone to just sit down and listen to what you're saying not even give you advice sometimes literally just to be there and listen to what it is that you're saying and having someone like that is so valuable over having 15 different people that are all just surface level friendships and relationships Tip three is find a hobby and a community group. I know this sounds like a very basic tip, but let me tell you guys, there is no need to overcomplicate this because it is very, very true. There are so many fun groups and communities and activities that you can go out there and do and meet people. And when I was first getting into social media, I had no idea the people that I was gonna meet, the connections that I was gonna make, the networking, the friends, all of the things that would happen to me if I hadn't just put myself out there. And as I've gotten to know so many amazing, incredible people in real life and at events or just even people online that I know through Instagram, through TikTok, from me simply just posting content and putting myself out there, it is just incredible. It's scary at first, but it is very, very worth it in the end because I always knew I am passionate about content and making videos, taking pictures, editing. I am passionate about all of that, but I was always scared when I was younger to put myself out there and do that. And it wasn't until I got older and I realized life is literally passing me by. If I don't take my chance now and shoot my shot, then I do not know what is going to be on the other side of this. I don't know what my life could be if I don't actually try. And so for the past four years now, I've been posting content i've been a content creator i have met such amazing people because of this that i didn't know because of mutual friends or because of people in my hometown like these are people that literally were strangers that have now turned into friends and we all have that mutual love and that mutual passion for creating content filming editing and sharing our love for that out there in the world and the same can be done for you so if you are passionate about something or there is something that you want to learn join a club or start some sort of hobby that is the perfect chance for you to meet new people there's book clubs there's art clubs there's so many random things that are out there that a lot of people don't know about because they don't do the research they don't sit down and look up what are some local things in your community that you can go and do so i highly recommend trying this out because you can literally do this from a from the comfort of your own home you can join virtual clubs you can join virtual communities do virtual meetings or you can go and do that and in person and like i said it sounds like a very basic tip but it is the best way to meet new people and gain those connections or build long-lasting friendships because it is an organic way you're organically meeting people when i started going to my local spin studio when i started going to cycle bar i did not realize that i was going to make such great friendships and meet the amazing instructors and now i genuinely cannot imagine 
not having a life where I do not know them. Like they are such amazing people. They're so incredibly kind. And it's literally because I started a new workout with my sister. We went to that studio randomly, decided to start a membership there. And it has led me to meeting such amazing people that have had a really, really great impact on me. So the next time you're bored or the next time you have some free time, try something new for yourself and see if there's a way that you can meet new people or gain something out of this experience. Tip four is accept yourself and others for who they are. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned when finding friendships in my 20s is that everybody is figuring it out. We're all figuring out our lives. We're all trying to figure out what path are we going to take? What new things are we going to try? What hobbies do we want to pick up? What job do we want to leave? What job do we want to start? There is so much out there in the world and we all have our entire lives to figure it out. There is no timeline. There is no, I'm going to finally figure this out when I'm this age. We are all just learning the ropes. But with this, you also have to learn that you must accept yourself and others for who they are. I have struggled with this in the past where I try to be this fairy godmother, big sister slash mom to all of my friends or people in the past. When they've had bumps in the road, I've learned that if you are always going to try to be the fixer or the solver and the mother in your friendships, you are always going to tell people what they should try to do or what they want to hear. And when they make the mistake again and again, and they come back to you constantly saying, what should I do? It just becomes that constant cycle of you being their mom and you telling them what they should or shouldn't do. And you have to stop trying to change people that simply do not want to be changed or stop trying to give advice to people who are not going to take it. A lot of people will come to you to just hear what it is that you're saying and hear what they should do because it sounds good in the moment. But then at the end of the day, when it's just them and they're staring at their ceiling in bed and they're thinking like, what should I do? It is up to them and that is all. It is not up to you. And I've learned this and it has become so much stronger as I've gotten older, especially with friendships, because I've realized that so many people have my life were coming to me and asking me for help or trying to seek all of these certain things in all honesty like i don't even know what i'm going to do tomorrow like i don't even know what my life is going to be tomorrow so for someone to come to me and say i need help with xyz like help me figure this out that is another added pressure on top of all the other million things that i also have to do and it just continues to enable that mentality of the i can fix this person or the i can fix him or i can change them and in reality the more you do that the more you try to be this fixer upper kind of person it is eventually just going to drain you. So there are two options for this. You can either stay friends with that person or walk away from what isn't serving you. Because the thing is that you can stay friends with them and accept them for who they are or simply just leave. It's as simple as that. And I've learned to deal with this in certain friendships that some people need someone good in their life, even if it is just you and other people will just never learn and they will keep trying to knock others down. But that is when you have to learn this person is always going to try to be a victim in their own life. They're always going to try to be a victim of themselves. Learn to walk away or simply just accept them for who they are. And then that is it because that is when boundaries have to become extra strong. And that is when it's really important to decipher that. But the more you try and change others, the more you are going to struggle with yourself. There is value in learning from others, just like how others can learn from you. But our entire life is always in seasons. Every season, new people are going to come into our lives or old ones leave, old ones come back and it all changes, but life is always going to continue to go on. And it is what teaches us and molds us into becoming who we are today. So it's okay to know that some people aren't going to be around forever, but there's beauty in that because life is beautiful when you learn to accept that you have to also take in the ugly. You have to accept the ugly to also get the good in life. Tip five is be clear on communication and set boundaries. So this is another huge tip because communication is so key, especially with friendships. And it's just as key as setting boundaries with what I said in my previous tip being clear on doing check-ins with your friends and regularly reaching out is literally so vital even when life gets busy because that is the thing that i feel like breaks a lot of friendships and relationships is when there is no communication when people are not talking about what is going on how they feel or what they're doing in their life because 
hearing from a friend you haven't talked to in so long i feel like is such a nice genuine warm cozy feeling it's nice to get little coffee dates and have some brunch days where you can sit down with your friend and literally just talk about life and then go back to your regular life like go back to the the madness and the craziness or the chaos whatever life is for you go back to it but have those little moments those little moments of peace where you can just sit down with someone and talk and i've noticed that mostly it's the times where i don't want to go out or i don't want to do something where I end up going and I either I either have a great time or I come back home and I think wow I really needed that like I needed that little moment of just talking and hanging out and not being on my phone and literally just having one-on-one -on -one with someone or having a little girl group time when you are there with people and you're just being yourself and you're around those that you love and that you're comfortable with nothing can be that feeling and my sister is someone that I really love and she is a really big important person in my life Life. and even though we're basically stuck with each other because we're sisters we had no choice to be close there's some nights that i go into her room and i just want to sit down i'm like hey and we pour our hearts out to each other we talk about things that are on our mind doubts feelings regrets things that we're looking forward to passions so many things we talk about it all it's really important to have that let's communicate let's be real those honest conversations because lack of communication is something that i've noticed has been a big problem in my past friendships because if you are bottling things in, inside eventually it ends up coming out eventually if you have a problem with someone or you feel a certain way about certain people and you don't want to confront them or you don't want to talk about something specific it is going to come out in other little ways you are going to start to feel this resentment or this jealousy and animosity towards this person which is also not good either and as i said before i've had issues in the past where friends are jealous or they secretly don't like you or they secretly are saying things behind your back and what you what they say will always come out the truth always comes out it's crazy because these are the same people that are going to pretend to be your best friends in real life they're going to pretend to be your number one supporter when in reality they are just projecting their own insecurities onto you and onto what you're doing because they are afraid to do it themselves. It is a hard pill to swallow for those people to understand that hating on others is not a lifestyle. It is not fun and it is something that if you constantly are doing that, you are going to just struggle for the rest of your life with finding genuine people and finding genuine connections and love and support and just attracting good people will be hard if you are not a good person inside so communication is always key in terms to how often you hang out or how often you see people communicate with your friends if you are busy say hey this is my schedule for the week that's what my friends and i do that's what my sister and i do today i texted her what time are you home today i would like to go on a walk with you or you know maybe let's just go on a little coffee drive grab some Duncan, it's really important to just communicate especially through the weeks where there is a lot going on be transparent with people and your friends and relationships rather than play this guessing game of okay i'm gonna wait until they text me to hang out because that's also not good either and as you get older and you adult more you're gonna realize just how important transparency is so really really try to prioritize that my last and final tip for today is to celebrate success and prioritize effort. So one thing I've noticed in friendships or with people and especially on social media is that jealousy can always creep in, but true friends are the ones that support each other's success. Some people are genuinely jealous or they have this secret hate towards people in their life because like i said they refuse to pick up their own life they refuse to do something for themselves so they project it onto other people and it makes me so sad because imagine if you had a genuine group of people around you imagine you had genuine groups of girls or guys or whoever it is that uplifted you they supported you they made you feel like anything could be possible that would be the most amazing feeling which is why it's so important to have a good support system because when you don't have that and you just ride for yourself it is a hard journey but it is something that you are never going to regret doing because when i realized there are some people i truly cannot rely on for certain things whether it be friends or family i turned to myself and it made me a much better person because like i said in tip number one your relationship with yourself is just as important as with other people when you don't love yourself and you struggle with being happy for others it is going to be just a reflection of you and it is going to reflect onto others so enhance this if you struggle with it by practicing being genuinely happy for your friends and surround yourself with those who do the same i said in another one of my videos 
practicing celebrating success and not letting things go by quickly is important because if you are always letting good things go once they happen you are going to constantly be in this competition with yourself of i need to be better i need to be better and you're never going to genuinely let yourself be happy for the things it is that you have accomplished for the things that you have done because you deserve to celebrate yourself and you also deserve to celebrate others so be consistent with yourself prioritize the big and small wins you got a new job let's celebrate you want to leave this guy because he's been doing all this stuff let's celebrate that you want to go out and buy this bag or buy this thing because you hit a milestone in your life let's go out and celebrate that you need to celebrate the big and the small and do it in many different ways because i feel like a lot of people that deserve the most in life sometimes do not get that like i feel like sometimes there have been moments where I look back and I think I'm always the one planning these things. I'm always the one doing these things. Let's do this, the surprise birthday party for this person. And those people that are always the planners are always getting things together. And if they're not the ones doing it, no one else will do it. Those are the people that sometimes deserve that they deserve those little moments and so surround yourself with people that are going to give you that like my sister and my boyfriend they are one of the most important people in my life they recognize that and when i can't pick myself back up i go to them and they help me get back up and same thing with them when they are down or when other people in my life are down when people in my family are down i come to them and i'm like let's get you back up let's do this and let's make sure that you have the energy and you have the resources and the things that you need for today to make today the best day ever for yourself. So like I said, find the people that are that really good support system for you and can pick you up in moments where you are not as strong and be grateful for those people because it is very hard to find genuine people that want to celebrate you and want to celebrate your success. So celebrate the big and the small wins. We all deserve to win. That is all for today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed and these tips were helpful in terms of finding friendships and what you should and shouldn't look for in new and upcoming ones because friendship is something that like i said i overthink this topic all the time and it is hard to not let what you see on social media get to you look at what you have around you be grateful for who you have and work on building that relationship with yourself because you are the most important thing in your own life you have to prioritize yourself your mental health your mental well-being so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate you guys and i will see you in my next video bye